Well, season's greetings, everybody. I'm Bob Phillips for Common Cause North Carolina, standing in front of the old state capitol building in downtown Raleigh, where it has been decorated up a bit for the holidays. What a critical year this has been for democracy, both here in North Carolina and across the country. But thanks to you and your great support, we've been able to stay focused on our mission, which includes defending voting rights, putting an end to gerrymandering once and for all, and nurturing and developing leadership of students on our HBCU campuses. We're all about one thing, and that's building a more vibrant democracy for us all. So let's take a look at the highlights for Common Cause North Carolina in the year 2021. As the year began, we at Common Cause North Carolina continued our decades-long commitment to end gerrymandering and enact lasting redistricting reform. We work with state lawmakers to introduce the Fair Maps Act in the General Assembly. Fair maps are critical for um, a legislative body that reflects the values of the North Carolina electorate. If adopted, the Fair Maps Act would amend North Carolina's constitution to permanently take redistricting power out of the hands of partisan legislators. The proposal would entrust redistricting with an independent commission comprised of everyday North Carolinians to draw our state's voting districts free from political influence. So far, Republican legislative leaders have refused to give the Fair Maps Act a vote, but we are undaunted. We will continue to push for true redistricting reform in the year ahead. In May, Common Cause North Carolina welcomed two new members to our team, Retrina Campbell and Tyler Day, as our redistricting community engagement specialists. Over the following months, Retrina and Tyler held dozens of community workshops throughout the state to educate and engage residents in this year's redistricting. This past summer, we launched a communications campaign to encourage the public to meaningfully take part in redistricting. We placed billboards in seven North Carolina cities, calling for lawmakers to keep communities together and to stop gerrymandering. Fair maps now! Fair maps now! Fair maps now! We also conducted a robust digital engagement campaign, raising awareness of this year's map drawing and encouraging public participation. As state lawmakers met in August to adopt criteria for drawing new voting maps, Common Cause was at the legislature calling for a fair, transparent, and inclusive redistricting process. We demanded redistricting that would keep communities together, protect voting rights, and allow for a robust public input completely free from gerrymandering. Sadly, legislative leaders rejected our calls for fair redistricting and that of residents across North Carolina. Instead, legislators embarked on a rushed and insufficient public hearing schedule, leaving out large sections of the state while refusing to live stream the hearings or offer a way for the public to participate virtually in real time. We at Common Cause were at the public hearings with our team once again speaking up and demanding fair redistricting. We also provided live video streaming of the hearings, something legislative leaders failed to do. As state lawmakers drew new voting maps in October, we were watching. We continue to call on legislators to improve the process to allow for greater public participation and better transparency. Yet again, legislative leaders rebuffed our calls for improvement. Instead, lawmakers continued with a deeply flawed process that lacked transparency and failed to follow the law. Most egregiously, legislators ignored legal requirements designed to protect voting rights for black North Carolinians. Ultimately, Republican lawmakers engaged in illegal gerrymandering, crafting mass that would undermine fair elections and especially deprive black voters of a voice in choosing their representatives. In response to the legislature's failed redistricting process, we filed suit in state court. We couldn't stand idly by and see the people of North Carolina suffer for yet another decade under racist gerrymandering and illegal voting maps created through an unconstitutional redistricting process. And so the fight to end gerrymandering goes on, and it's a fight we'll continue with absolute dedication until North Carolina finally has fair maps for everyone. 
The 2020 election saw record turnout in North Carolina and showed how participation in our democracy can thrive when casting a ballot is made accessible for all voters. But instead of building on last year's voter turnout success, some politicians in the legislature tried to take our state backward by creating unfair barriers to voting. We joined our pro-democracy partners in standing up and fighting back against attempts to roll back voting rights. We must protect the freedom of every voter in the state of North Carolina to participate in our elections. We helped stop a bill that would have made casting an absentee ballot by mail more difficult. That was a victory for fair elections, but as we've seen, we must continue to be vigilant and protect the freedom of all North Carolina voters to participate in our elections. This year, we once again work with our partners to provide reliable nonpartisan voter guides for local elections in North Carolina. And our HBCU Democracy Fellows help spread the word about local elections, including hosting a Durham Candidates Forum with a special focus on issues that matter most to college students. As we look to 2022, we'll continue to provide important tools and nonpartisan information to help voters across North Carolina make their voices heard in next year's election for federal, state, and local options. Offices. In 2021, our HBCU Student Action Alliance continued empowering a new generation of leaders. Through this inspiring program, our Common Cause Democracy Fellows were active at all 10 of North Carolina's historically black colleges and universities, boosting civic participation on their campuses. Our fellows held virtual town halls on critical issues. They helped students register to vote and provided information about important local elections. This fall, our Democracy Fellows hosted a think tank with HBCU students convening on the campus of Winston-Salem State University to network, discuss important issues, and develop leadership skills to strengthen their campus communities. Well, the think tank has been great. I feel like everybody has something different that they do bring to the table. Everybody has different mindsets and different outlooks on life, and I feel like that way everybody can come together and, you know, piggyback on one another in regards to their ideas on separate things. 2021 culminated with a celebration of the 15th anniversary of our HBCU Student Action Alliance. It was a powerful look back at how this program has touched the lives of HBCU students throughout North Carolina. So I definitely think being a democracy fellow with Common Cause has changed my life, honestly. We look forward to many more years of this great program as through our HBCU Student Action Alliance, we empower a new generation of leaders for our state and nation, leaders who will shape our future and help a thriving democracy. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed these highlights that we have shown you about what our job was in the past year. I've moved down the road a little bit. I'm in front of the Raleigh Memorial Auditorium, which is particularly festive. This is a, a Christmas ornament, if you will, that's uh, been planted in front of this uh, historic building. Um, but want to say once again, we wish you and your family the very best in uh, the new year. And certainly we will keep at it. We'll keep fighting for fair maps. We'll keep doing our job to defend voting rights, particularly in this upcoming election year. And of course, we'll keep doing the work that really is most satisfying to us about working with students on our historically black colleges and universities. I do want to say thank you to all my colleagues at Common Cause North Carolina, and especially thank Brian Warner, who is responsible for uh, the photography, the editing, and a lot of the writing of just about everything that you uh, see, not only on this piece, but uh, many, many of the things that we do on social media. So from all of us at Common Cause North Carolina, we wish you the very best this holiday season, and of course, wish you and your family uh, safety and peace. Thank you again. Thank, thank you. you.